Compared to a traditional brostrum, the incision for the FlexBand Fix system should be extended by 1 cm both proximally and distally. Curving the distal incision anteriorly is helpful to gain greater exposure to the talus. Once the angle capsule is exposed, a full thickness incision is made to take down the capsule and the ATFL in a single layer from its anterolateral fibular attachments. This incision begins 1.5 cm proximal to the tip of the fibula and continues distally to the insertion of the CFL and the peroneal tendons. Just off the anterior border of the lateral Taylor process shoulder, you can visualize the ATFL insertion. This is the target zone for placement of the first flexband anchor. Place the provided guide wire in the center of the ATFL target zone. The guide wire should be driven in parallel with the bottom of the foot and aimed posteriorly 45 degrees to the talus. Turning attention to the fibula, a second guide wire is placed anterolaterally at the origin of the ATFL and driven posteriorly toward the retrofibular groove. The 4.5 mm cannulated drill bit and tissue protector are slid over the tailor guide wire and drilled until reaching the positive stop. This process is repeated over the fibular guide wire. Drill guide, drill bit, and guide wire are all then removed. Next, approximately 2 cm of the 0.5 by 8 cm flex band is loaded into the aperture of the anchor. Once loaded the anchor with flex band is placed by hand into the tailor bone tunnel, ensuring that the long limb of the flex band is facing the fibular bone tunnel. The anchor is then impacted until the driver shaft's black laser mark reaches the bony cortex, indicating that the anchor with flex band is fully seated. The driver is then removed. A second flex band anchor is taken from the kit package and is loaded onto the driver. Once the anchor is loaded onto the driver, the unfixed end of the flex band can be threaded through the aperture of the anchor in preparation of placement into the fibula. The anchor with flex band is then positioned in line with the fibular bone tunnel. Any slack in the flex band is removed by hand. Then the anchor with flex band is placed into the fibular bone tunnel. Once alignment to the bone tunnel is confirmed, the anchor with flex band is impacted until the laser mark reaches the bony cortex, allowing the flex band to auto tension across the joint. The driver is then removed, and the excess flex band can be trimmed away.
With the FlexBand fix reinforcement finished, the Brostrom procedure is completed, and the surgeon can move to final closure.